Here we go. You know what you have to do, Barbara? Yes, I do. What? Two. No, one. Two. Because <gasps> you got one. You see, score's okay. tied right okay. now. One to win is all she has to do. Uh, Dick, you lay out this time because you matched her in the first round. Hey, did you hear about the New York City traffic cop? No. no. Want to hear about him? Yeah. Sure. When he lost his whistle, he stood in the middle of Broadway blowing his blank. <laughs> New York City traffic cop. When he lost his whistle, he stood in the middle of Broadway blowing his blank. <laughs> All right, here we go. Barbara, this New York City traffic cop, when he lost his whistle, he stood in the middle of Broadway blowing his... Nose. Nose? <laughs> One nose will win the game. One nose, one nose. There it is. That wins the game. What the rest of you have? Hold on for a minute. Tom Horn, nose. Come on down. You only got one more nose on there. Diana Wells, we admire you for the kind of work you do with young people. Thank and we've you. got many gifts for you that'll be coming your way. And thank you for being with us in Match Game. Thank Sunday you. Sunday. I had fun. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> Now, Barbara Hawkins is up here for the third time. Third time. How do you feel? I don't know yet. I have you to don't... go to the bathroom. What? <laughs> Can I say that? Sure. No, no, you can't say you have to go to the bathroom. Okay. No, that's not allowed there. I tell you, just let's not think about it or talk about it because uh, it's <laughs> eight minutes before the next commercial and we don't do so. Here we go, Barbara. We polled a studio audience not too long ago and we said, write down your best answer to this. Joan Blank. Now, if you match the answer they gave us most frequently, you get $500. If you match the second most popular answer, you get $250. And then you get $100 for matching the third. And let's see who will give you some help here. Richard. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is one. Charles. Charles. Joan Baez. Joan Baez. You got two now. And Brett. What about Joan Rivers? Yeah. What's that? Oh, Crawford. Uh. <laughs> How about Joan Crawford? How about Joan Crawford? <laughs> Mind like a steel... Sieve. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Joan Crawford, Joan Baez, and Joan of Arc. Barbara, you may choose one of those or reject all of them and give us one of your own. What is your pleasure here? Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford. <laughs> all right, that's the one that Brett gave you via Fanny. Here we go. What? My mic is breaking up. All right, I'll be very careful. So is there mine. it is. I'll just hold it here very carefully and we'll replace it during the next commercial. I will hardly move it at all. I was wondering where that noise was coming from. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Now let's begin at the bottom and we will reveal the $100 response. Joan Rivers is up there. Do not move because the mic will make a funny noise. All right, here we go. May we see the $250 response? Joan Crawford, congratulations, you got it. Very good. So that means, well, before we get to that, what do you think's on a big one there? Joan of Arc. Arc, Arc, Arc. I thought there were a bunch of seals in the audience. Arc. Show us your Arc, Arc, Arc. Go ahead. Joan of Arc is right. Okay. Bobby, you picked up an additional $250. You now have $2,150. You're going to play for 10 times that amount, or $2,500. Well, just about double your money there. Oh, yeah. And we'll be glad to give you that amount if you will match one celebrity exactly. Whom do you call on? Do I have to turn like you? No. Richard. Okay, Richard. <laughs> All right, you face me if you would, please. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Here it is, it's worth, whoops. I may get electrocuted before the show's over. You'll be a witness, we'll all sue CBS together. Here it is, good luck to you. Blank turn, T-U-R-N, blank turn.
right turn. Now, Barbara, give us the answer that Richard has written on the card. We give you $2,500. What do you say to this? Blank turn. Right. Right turn. That was your first thought. <laughs> it was not your first thought? My well, now, first was U-turn. Well, your first thought was U-turn, oh, and you rejected that for it. right turn. Okay, let's turn to the left and find out what Richard has written on the card. That's what I was hoping she was going to do. What? Turn to the left. Turn to the left. You know, that was really uh, an arbitrary one. I mean, kind of a difficult left one. Left turn, right left turn, turn, no right turn, 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 no, turn, no left turn. turn. Yeah. Right in the middle. Good yes. turn. Good turn is another Bad good turn. one. A lot of good ones there. All right, Barbara, you're up to 2150. You're going to meet another player. Here comes Mickey Isley. <laughs> Barbara, would you stand by for a minute? I was supposed to do the show today, and I want to do it today, and there she is. <laughs> you get out of the set. Well, I don't know how we can resolve this. Uh, would you like to uh, uh, alternate with her, perhaps? On I don't other know, I think I'll get more money on this side than on that side. <laughs> no, you won't. I'm not giving you any money now. I got to go upstairs and do a show. What, what, what show are you doing? Three's Company. Oh. Oh, oh we'll come up and watch a little bit later. Okay. And we're going to see you next week. Joyce Philippot, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You have a seat, Barbara. And you want to do the commercial now? You don't want to recognize his presence at all. All right, you think about it for a second, Mickey. We'll do a little bit of business with America, and then you'll tell us the story of your life. Okay? Here we go. 